guys, this makeup is inspired by Lily as played by Eddie Redmayne in the film The Danish Girl. So here we go! To achieve the porcelain skin that Lily has, I'm mixing a very fair cream foundation and applying that all over my face and neck. To block out my eyebrows, I'm applying Elmer's glue stick to flatten my eyebrow hairs and smoothing it out with a metal spatula. Next, I'm using a high coverage concealer and my foundation to cover my eyebrows in multiple layers before setting it all with a translucent powder. Using a brown cream foundation and my fingers, I'm starting to chisel out the distinct cheekbones Eddie has while slimming and elongating my face by defining my temples, chin, and jawline. And make sure to blend! Using a brown eyeliner, I'm faintly drawing along my nasal labial folds and smile creases around my mouth. Taking a white cream, I'm highlighting the tip and bridge of my nose. With the same brown eyeliner pencil, I'm creating shadows to create the illusion of a similar nose shape close to Eddie's. With the brown eyeliner pencil, I'm drawing on and blending out the eyelid crease. I'm also drawing the crow's feet and smile lines around Lily's eyes using a combination of the pencil and a fine brush. Using brown cream and a fine brush, I'm drawing on individual hairs on my new brow bone, which is now lower and closer to my eye socket. Taking a black eyeliner pencil, I'm lining the bottom waterline and the outer third of my eyelids. Eddie has pretty deep set eyes, so I'm using a combination of brown cream and powder eyeshadows to deepen the shadow of our new brow bone and blend out onto the eyelids. Sorry, I totally don't mean to flick you guys off, but using a white cream, I'm placing highlights onto my cheeks using my fingers. Using a mix of black and brown eyeshadows, I'm creating even more definition for deep set eyes and nose contour. Eddie has a wider mouth with a skinnier top lip than I, so I made sure to underdraw the top lip and extend the sides. By using a brown cream to place onto the outer edges, it creates a more natural shadow. I'm placing a red-orange cream between my nasal labial folds and cheeks to make our new facial features look a little more realistic. Using my brown eyeliner pencil, I'm faintly drawing on two vertical fine lines on the insides of our brows and defining Lily's nose a little more dramatically. Curl your lashes and apply black mascara to your top and bottom lashes. Place a highlight to your inner eye corners and lightly press on fake freckles all over your cheeks, nose, and temples. I didn't have a wig, so I had to improvise. I parted my hair on the left side, and leaving a portion in the front out, I secured the rest in a low bun. To create the faux bangs, I pulled out and looped a small section in the front and secured with a bobby pin. I then took small portions of the remaining hair into sections and twisted them into small curls before also securing with bobby pins. And that's our completed Danish girl inspired look! Thanks for watching guys! If you haven't seen The Danish Girl, I would highly recommend it. It's a beautiful and phenomenal movie. If you're interested in seeing more movie inspired looks from me, give this video a thumbs up so I know.